You're on Sunshine. It is Beck and Norm hanging out with you. Dylan Twist recently claimed a victory at the annual cheese rolling competition over in the UK, and he is a bona fide homegrown legend from Perth. This event is where competitors launch themselves down a 183 meter slope, chasing a three kilogram wheel of cheese. Now we have tracked him down and we got him here with us to talk about the adrenaline pumping race. Hi, Dylan. G'day. How you doing? Now, have you had much sleep since the event? Um, less than normal, but uh, still sufficient so far to keep me to keep me moving. <laughs> I think everyone's just so proud that a guy from Perth won this competition where you just roll down a hill uh, after some cheese. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect everyone to take it quite as seriously as I did. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's been, it's been great fun. And it's I think it's just built the joke even larger than it was in my own mind. <laughs> so Dylan, how did you actually find out about the event? It was something that I was conscious of from a few years ago, maybe through a TV program like QI or something um, where I'd heard about it. And then it popped back into my mind when I was hanging out with some church mates um, before I left. Um, so I decided, uh, looked, looked up, uh, looked it up then and just told them, Hey, well, I'm going to go do this. And you know, I'll, I reckon I'll win it as well. <laughs> <laughs> and you did. Hey, on a scale of one to 10, how much did it hurt? Um, it didn't hurt much at all going down, actually. There was a lot of impact, but nothing that nothing that felt out of place or, or, or too bad. There's a bit of stiffness and bruising now, and uh, the stitches are <laughs> a, bit, a bit sore sometimes. But, uh, yeah, going down the hill, you, you're just not conscious of it. <laughs> did, you, did you just say stitches? I think so. Did you get stitches? Yeah, yeah I ended up with five stitches just below my knee. I managed oh. to cut myself open a bit. <laughs> just a little bit, just 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 five stitches between friends. At, at what point when you were going down a hill, did you have any thought of like, I, you know what, this is probably not a good idea? Um, I never thought it wasn't a good idea. I realized that it was very out of control about a third of the way down when I started flipping over sideways and then end over end. At that point, I realized I wasn't in control anymore. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a game plan and what was it going in? Um kind of two things I told myself were relax, roll, uh, keep my head tucked. Uh, well, yeah, relax and keep my head tucked. Really don't, uh, don't kind of fight it. Um, With yeah, the, that's, uh, where, that's where injuries occur. <laughs> when you were going down, was there any kind of like trash talking with the other competitors or was it more kind of just motivating each other and like, hey, you'll be okay or you'll be fine? Um, well, there's definitely not going down. There wasn't time for that. Um, <laughs> up at the top, uh, no, it was, I think it feels too risky to trash talk. I think it feels like everyone's everyone's in this together. <laughs> the chance of injury is, uh, is a real prospect. So, um, yeah, it was a very warm environment. It was, it was difficult to get up there and you had to you push, basically push your way there. But... Um, once you were there, was, everyone was too much just concentrating on the on what was in front of them. What did your parents think about this when you told them your plan? I can't remember when I told them that I was going to do it. Um, Mum told me not to break my neck. Yeah, uh, that that was the kind of the one the one thing I got from her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to get to the serious questions now. The cheese. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What What are you doing with it? I've still got to decide that actually. I'm probably going to eat it at some stage, but um, I think there has to be a situation of sufficient reverence and fun for it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to go on tour with it? You know, go to, as, as, you, as you travel, like here's the wheel of cheese that I won. <laughs> uh, I hope not because yeah, <laughs> uh, there, was, there were huge crowds and walking back with it. I couldn't fit it in my backpack. <laughs> so <laughs> I was stopped for a lot more photos than I've ever taken in my life. That's brilliant. Now, what's your favorite cheese? I I don't know if I have a favorite actually. I enjoy cheese generally. Um, but I'm I'm not picky. Um yeah. pro probably this one will be my favorite cheese ever, but <laughs> <laughs> once I get to eating it. Uh well, so we have a cheese festival coming up. Uh are we expecting a guest appearance from you in the near future? Ooh. <laughs> You'll have to send me the details. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. You should like try and just get in on it now. All of like this marketing. 
you know, strike while the iron's hot. Come out your own brand of cheese line. That's yeah, brilliant. Yeah, that sounds like that'd be a lot of publicity. <laughs> a lot more trying to <laughs> trying to ride the publicity. Dylan Twist is a champion. He got victory at the annual cheese rolling competition over in the UK in the last couple of days. We are so proud of you, Dylan. Thanks for doing Perth Proud. No worries. Thank you.